I tried the first electrical muscle stimulation device to be cleared by the FDA for home use. So this is supposedly a super advanced suit. I'm wearing it right now, because why not? That will help you get your workouts done in 20 minutes or less. Sounds like a scam. So I decided to put it to the test for four weeks. So how it works is this catalyst suit electrically stimulates your muscles to help maximize your gains, supposedly. It's a full body EMS suit. And what they offer is an app, the suit, which has a whole bunch of components like the top, the bottom, an under layer, and then a little bit of a gadget that plugs in that you need to charge on the side, as well as like arm components. So there's a whole bunch of workouts inside of the app that you can actually follow. And depending on which one you choose and what your focus area is, it's gonna activate certain muscle groups and focus areas throughout your body. So the entire suit actually covers your biceps, triceps, all the way around your torso, your core, your quads and hamstrings. It does not cover your calves, anything around your foot, arms or forearms. So keep in mind that those muscles are not going to be activated. What does electrical stimulation actually do? I don't know if you've ever tried those devices where you can put like little nodes on your quads or your legs to help like for recovery and things like that. Essentially what it's doing is sending an electrical current through your body to activate certain muscle groups. And I think in theory, what the idea and concept is that if you can activate the muscle group, it'll make it harder in terms of like resistance. So if I'm just doing like air bicep curls, they can activate my muscles and it'll be harder and I need to uh, pull even harder just to be able to resist the activation in my arms. Or the other sense is that I'm able to activate more muscle fibers because the suit is kind of helping exogenously activate those muscle fibers. So I think that's the theory behind how this could potentially improve your performance and get more of a workout in less time. I've seen these ads and I was like, this is so cool. It looks like you're a superhuman. I want to try this suit. But what I did not realize and what they don't show you in the ad is there's a setup process. <laughs> Week one. This is when I got the suit. Catalyst gifted me the suit, but they do not get to see this video and I can say whatever I want. All right, first step is to unzip and open everything up on a table. And now we need to fill every pad with moisture and we're gonna start putting all the pieces together. There's a lot of pieces. I feel a little overwhelmed right now, but I think if I do this over and over again, it'll be easier. So let's see. They have a little, they have a thing on the app that you can follow. But that's when I realized that this setup process took me almost just as long as the workout. And I was like, Catalyst, what am I doing wrong? We got the base layer on, we buckled the vests. I kind of just want to take this to the shower and just turn it on. Not sure if that's possible, but we fill this up with pressure and we're going to go through and zigzag each pad. So let's see how long this takes. We'll do a quick time lapse as well as show you the time this takes. Grab the soaking suit. Maybe I put too much water, but I didn't want to have to put water on it again. Oh yeah, it's moist. So initially I was confused. It was taking forever to put the suit on and I was like, why am I spending all this time preparing for a workout that's going to be shorter than a regular workout? Yes, but the entire duration of preparation, working out, and then cleaning up the suit and hanging it back up, taking it all off, disconnecting it, takes just as long as a regular workout. So although the workout portion was only 20 minutes long, the entire thing that's took about 45. Pretty good. Right. Well, I was just on a call with the Catalyst team and I asked them, what can I do to make this easier? And they said it should take no more than 10 minutes, 12.52. I'm gonna try to get set up and ready to go by 1 p.m. Let's see if we can do this. They just said you gotta really move this thing fast and just soak that area with water as fast as possible. So I got the suit. Let's see if we can do this in eight minutes or less. You have to soak each of the panels in the suit with water so that way that allows the electricity to flow, you know, from the panel to your skin, to your muscle. So like, this is the strategy on how to do it. You know, you gotta do it fast. Boom, 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 next, boom, 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 next, boom, 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 next. And there's a little bottle that they give you that you pump to create pressure to fill those gaps and everything. It's just about me taking my sweet time and I just wasn't doing it quickly and correctly. But even then, sometimes my forearm will get tired because we're doing so many things and going next one. And I was like trying to be so intricate and in getting the entire square wet that like maybe I didn't need to be so focused. I could just like, Go really fast up and down and then call it a day. The second challenge during week one was figuring out intensity. So you can actually customize your like baseline intensity. At the beginning it was a little bit too easy. So I was like, oh, I don't really feel much. And they're like, turn up the intensity, get to the point where it actually feels difficult. And that's when I realized, whoa, this is intense. This thing is like kind of like electrocuting you in a way. Like you feel pulsations, you feel your muscles activate from an external source. And it freaks me out. I don't know if I like this stuff. Oh, left butt is tingling. And once I figured out the right intensity, I actually got really sore the next day. Like my shoulders were sore from doing like their shoulder workout that we had to do and like arm and biceps. I was like, this thing actually is making me work out even though I have no weights in my hand, it's all body weight. So that intrigued my interest. And on top of this, I got the suit pretty quickly after I'd broken my foot. So I was injured and I was like, all right, how can I get back into working out without going to the gym, without needing heavy weights and still being able to do most exercises while activating as many muscles as possible. So having the suit post-injury was so helpful and valuable from my perspective. Then it was week two. 
two. So now I finally got the hang of how to get it wet. I was using the spray bottle pretty quickly. I was able to cut my time down from like 20 minutes to like seven to 10 minutes. But even then you have to grab this little device that actually is what powers the entire suit. This is like Iron Man's heart. And inside you need to make sure that this is charged as well as these panels being on the right spot. So I was getting faster at setting up a suit. I had to grab this. You know, you gotta put every component on, tighten the top, tighten the sides, tighten the legs. Make sure all the arms are on, plug in the arm wires. So I think with practice, you just get faster and faster at it. So Catalyst gave me a program to follow and one of the programs was doing more cardio with it. The very first time running outside, I think the wires and this, all this stuff makes it look like a superhuman weird suit. But we're gonna try it. I've got a 30 minute cardio workout. It says with equipment. I'm gonna hit begin workout. Second run back from broken foot injury. Feeling good, this time wearing the Catalyst suit. I'm definitely out of breath. Trying to do 9, 30, 10 minute pace. And I think the suit is also activating more muscles that are not just for running. So that's also increasing my heart rate and making it more challenging. Average pace, 943, 158 average heart rate. The suit's still running, but it's just making more of my muscles work out than just my lower body. This is week three with the Catalyst suit and I'm traveling with it right now. So I didn't bring the little pump that you need to fill it up with water, but right now I'm gonna lay it out here on a patio outside. I'm gonna get a hose and I'm hoping if we just spray this thing down, we can inject water in all the pads and not have to worry about doing that process. And then the clothing I have to wear underneath. I just need extra space in my suitcase, so I bought a bigger suitcase this time. And then I didn't bring the water sprayer, so if you have a place where you can make a mess with water, whether it's in the shower or somewhere outside, or you can use a water bottle to fill it up, then that works. I think just being able to have a space to make a mess was really easy, and I like that. Um, and then I can run the app on my phone, which is nice. You can also do it on an iPad, um, but being able to just do it on my iPhone is really valuable. And then I realized, hey, I don't have gym access in Texas or California, unless I want to pay for like a membership. So having the suit allowed me to get a workout in, even though I didn't, wasn't going to a gym. I think one thing that they told me is like, hey, if you really wanted to, instead of lifting heavy weights, you can get a very intense workout with this without having to go to the gym. Personally, I love lifting heavy weights. So for me, it's like, I don't know, man, I want to go to the gym. I want to be able to do deadlift a lot. I want to be able to squat, bench a lot. And yes, I probably could use this suit to kind of not do that in the cases where maybe I don't have access or, you know, I was injured. So those specific scenarios, like this is perfect, at least for me. But if you're someone who like doesn't love going to the gym, you want to do an at-home workout, this is great. If you're someone who needs a little bit of guidance on what to do, the app provides everything. There's like different types of instructors, different types of workouts from performance, power, recovery, so that I appreciate. And then when I was traveling, like I don't want to take the bottle with me. So they gave me a little hack that like, I don't know if you want to do or not, but I just used the hose to spray the entire thing down outside and that just got everything wet. And at the hotel, I was able to just put it in the shower and just get the entire thing soaked. Yes, it gets water everywhere, but it's like much faster. Like within one minute, I got the suit soaked and I could put it on. Finally, it was week four. I actually thought you could only use it on the iPad, but they do have an iPhone app as well. Um, since they gave me programming, I had to kind of find the class that I was supposed to do. What I would have liked is maybe built-in programming into the app. So I would love to see that where I can sign up for like a four week, six week program and be able to just, you know, press play. Whereas I had to actually go in the filter option and find the workout that I needed. There was no search option inside of their app. Uh, when I was outside of the gym, I made sure to download everything because just in case connection wasn't that good, I can download the workouts. And then if you are using your iPhone, I did have to keep the app open or else it would stop like the 30 minute cardio session. I needed to keep the app open with the screen on to run that cardio session, which was a little bit frustrating because I couldn't use other apps while I was on the bike. And then once I had figured out my training intensity, it makes it much easier to get a very intense workout. Uh, and then I can kind of see trends over time, how my intensity levels were. I love that I can see trends in terms of how many workouts that I did. I can see the information about each workout and they give you the option to actually increase the intensity if you want, or you can disconnect. Cause sometimes it was way too intense. So I was like, let's disconnect. Sometimes it was not intense enough. So I would like press the plus sign to increase the intensity for that area. If you want to turn off certain panels. Maybe you're injured in a certain place. You don't want to activate those muscles. You can. They said that a lot of famous people use the suit. So I felt obligated that I wanted to use the suit too. All right, this is the iPad app. As you can see, it's much bigger and easier to see all the workouts available. You can tap into the workout, see kind of what you're actually doing within that workout. If it's a stretch, they'll give you the times for each. You can download the workout if you need. So you don't have, if you don't have connection, in the area, you can still do the workout. If I go in, I can see my, all the trends and data around my workouts and my intensity levels throughout the workout that I did. They have a great getting started page in terms of how to get set up with the suit. Um, there, it definitely is a learning curve, but once you've experienced and you develop the habit of how to get the suit ready, 
then it all kind of works. Other than that, the app is pretty basic. I wish they had search functionality as well as programming built into the app, but I hope we'll get to see that in the future. Now, who is the suit for and who should buy this? I think if you're someone who's going to do at-home workouts, if you need guidance in terms of how the workout is, and if you're trying to save time in terms of how long your workout length is, this is a great option, especially if you have a TV at home, you can airplay this to your TV, be able to get your workout in, take the suit off, hang the suit up, put it away, and go on with your day, then it's a great product. But I think if you're someone who like loves the gym, maybe you love going to a place, you love that experience, this might not be for you. Moving forward, like how am I gonna integrate this into my life? I think for me, it was great to use this as a tool to kind of rebuild my strength and come back from injury, but the recovery stuff is definitely the most interesting to me, so I think I'm going to keep testing all the mobility recovery flows, and the stretching components of the actual suit, but I'm not sure if I'm in love with the actual workouts that I'm doing because I wanna to go to the gym, I wanna be surrounded by people, and I wanna lift heavy weights and almost break my body. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna see future videos, turn on notifications, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Sherman Shares. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.